after Louisville's loss a few days ago to Arkansas State, a game in which a lot of people expected Louisville to lose, I thought it would be a good idea to come out with this video and ask a simple question, what happened to Louisville basketball now? This was a program in the 2000s that Rick Pitino had humming. They built a brand new state-of-the-art arena. This is an NBA-level arena, the KFC Yum Center, with a crazy high capacity, over 22,000. It's such a nice arena, you could easily move an NBA team to Louisville and have them play inside of it, but this was a team back with Rick Pitino. I'm just going to go over their seeds when it comes to the NCAA tournament. They went on a run from 2006 all the way to 2015, and I'm just going to read off their seed lines. 6-3-1-9-4-4-1-4-4. And of course, they won the NCAA tournament when they were a member of the Big East the final year in 2013, winning March Madness with Rick Pitino, and they were routinely ranked with inside the top 10 of the AP poll for almost a decade. From 2007 to 2017, they won 30 games in 2011, they won 35 games in 2012, they won 31 games in 2013. Moving to the ACC, it was a little bit harder, obviously it's a tougher schedule, but they still had very impressive showings from 2014 through 2017. Now, Louisville would routinely recruit elite five-star talent under Rick Pitino, but that all changed in 2017 with a scandal. September of 2017, terrible, terrible timing when it comes to college basketball. That's right before the season, late September, literally a month. It was announced that Louisville was under investigation for a pay-to-play scheme. You know, looking back on it about six years later, it is funny with all the stuff going around in terms of NIL, not only in college football, but also college basketball. The gist of the scandal involved a Patino staffer arranging sex acts for players and recruits in the basketball dorms, which led to the school self-imposing a postseason ban and also vacating their national championship back in 2013. And there were a lot of other circumstances involved when it came to the firing of Rick Pitino, but it really brought Louisville basketball down. It brought them a lot of negative press, and they had to scramble to find a head coach, and they ended up just promoting one of their assistants who really had no experience. And the 2017-2018 year, a year in which they started preseason ranked as the number 16 team, they finished with 14 losses and they had to find a head coach. Now Louisville, even with all of the negative press, was still an unbelievable job considering the support that they had. The massive arena, this is still a premier college basketball program, and they went out and hired one of the best young premier coaches, Chris Mack, from Xavier, who just came off a 29-6 and season, finishing as the number three overall team. Out of the Big East, now Chris Mack's initial year at Louisville was very subpar, going only 20 and 14. They did reach an AP high ranking of number 15, and they did barely make the tournament, but they didn't go anywhere. However, in 2019, Louisville basketball reached new heights. Ascending to be ranked number one early in the year, they were initially ranked number five, and they had a final AP ranking of number 14. Unfortunately, the pandemic canceled that season. Otherwise, it's very likely Louisville in the 2020 NCAA tournament would have been a three or a four seed. And unfortunately for Louisville, it's like when the pandemic happened, they just completely fell off the map. When you look at their 2020-2021 season, they go 20 and 13. They had an AP high of 16, but they didn't make the tournament. They didn't finish ranked. And then the next year, Chris Max last year, he was fired midway through it. He was just 6-8. and eight. They immediately canned him and promoted one of their interim head coaches who was not brought back after that. And that enters Kenny Payne. Louisville basketball hires Kenny Payne, the former assistant of the New York Knicks. He was also an associate head coach to Kentucky for seven years. It was a very curious hiring, and my goodness, has it not worked out at all. This is not a Chris Mack situation where Louisville is subpar, but they're at least still competitive. This team is legitimately horrific.
Kenny Payne right now has a career record at Louisville of 8-34. and He is 2-19 and in conference, and Louisville will routinely be home underdogs in that massive arena to terrible mid-major teams. I mean, this to see a program fall this far with this crazy of an arena, I don't think we've ever seen a situation like this where this team is just this horrifically bad. Now, it's not all horrible for Louisville basketball. They are bringing in an impressive 2023 class with a five-star, and you do have four other top 100 players, although when it comes to college basketball, recruiting rankings are a lot different. You know, even if they are top 100 players, if they're not in the top 50, there's just not as many players. So it's it's in terms of them being inside the top 100, what you're really looking for is those high impact top 30 players. And they are bringing in two of those guys. But still, when it comes to Louisville basketball, what an absolute mess from where they were. What a fall beginning with the firing of Rick Patino. Although you could make the argument Louisville was already slightly trending down even before the incidents with Rick Patino, But that scandal certainly wreaked havoc on Louisville basketball. And we'll see if they're able to rebound with this new recruiting class this year. It looks like it's going to be very bad. I would expect for them to fire Kenny Payne really any minute. And another story involving Louisville basketball and Kenny Payne includes false information of a player's transfer status leaking. So now Louisville fans are calling for Kenny Payne to be fired over that. As if the 2-19 and in-conference record wasn't bad enough, and to just make matters worse, you can take a look at the future Louisville schedule this season. You'll see a bunch of red on there, although they are three-point favorites over Pepperdine. Yes, that'll be a big win for the program. I mean, they're 21-point underdogs to to North Carolina in-conference, 18-point underdogs to Clemson. They're favored over Notre Dame. Maybe they can beat Notre Dame, but they are projected right now to go 9-22, and and I think that's overly optimistic at this point when it comes to Louisville basketball. Now, you might be wondering, Louisville basketball, that's still a premier job. Why would they hire Kenny Payne? Well, it had to do with his recruiting connections. This seemingly was a hire based off of recruiting and not so much based off of coaching. Little experience Kenny Payne had. So that is the story of Louisville basketball. Ever since the Rick Pitino scandal back in 2017, they've never been able to really fully recover. They had to give themselves a postseason ban in 2017. They had to scramble to find a head coach based on when the scandal came out in September. That completely voided their 2017-2018 campaign. They hire Chris Mack. It looks like a good move coming from Xavier. Was a number one overall seed in the NCAA tournament. He has a few good years. He has a few bad years. He ends up being kind of a dud. And then the pandemic happens. They end up firing him mid-season after a 6-8 and eight start. And now Kenny Payne. And it it's like it's gotten worse and worse and worse to go from Patino to Mac to Payne. Who's next for Louisville? Oh my, I, I'm not sure I really want to know at this point. And then also there's been reports that Louisville early in the non-conference season this year has been lying about ticket sales, apparently saying they've sold, you know, eight, ten thousand 10,000 tickets when it routinely looks completely empty, the KFC Yum Center that is. And honestly, I really don't blame Louisville at this point. It is embarrassing if, you know, you have a stadium or an arena with a capacity of 22K to only seat around three or 4,000. This is basically an unprecedented situation. Normally, college programs that have the resources to build arenas that are this big are never this bad. This is literal rock bottom for any major program, but guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.